Hey guys, welcome back to XDA. Today we're going to talk about the top apps of 2014 according to your views on XDA. But I'm also going to give you guys a little bit kind of a nice little surprise. We're going to talk about one module that we didn't talk about on Tuesday, but it's the most powerful module when it comes to controlling your information. Let's check it out. So we're going to start up our list with first application and it's called lock it down and it's a pro version so lock it down pro i'll give you guys a link in the description below the video the app itself is something that is very functional and i think almost every one of us would need to have on our device it gives us the ability to control access to our media on our device by controlling it by providing a pin or a pattern that also gives you the ability to kind of customize the functionality within it it's very functional, a lot of built-in features to something that's actually free. Uh, the developer is very, very active on XDA, so if you have any concerns, you can definitely check it out. I like it, and I think it's something that you guys should definitely check out. It's very nice. So the second one we're going to talk about is actually a combination of application. It was a video that I did on my top five applications for Android Wear, right around when it was still early enough, when there was not that much applications. Obviously, there's more today, but the video itself covers a few essentials that you can have. One of them was a locking application, which kind of gives you a lock screen to your uh, actual Android Wear. You have a mini launcher, you have a camera ability to be able to control your camera on your device and take pictures with your Android Wear. Uh, we also had MicroDroid, gives you the ability of launching macros on your device. And since then, Tasker's actually had an application that was added to the Google Play Store that enables you to run Tasker functionalities. But great Tasker functionalities within the device itself. And then we also had volume control on our music to be able to control music. Again, that was kind of superseded with what Google released with the latest version of Android Wear, which gives us the ability to play music on our device and controlling volume. But functionalities within that video were very strong and quite a few of them are still valid. So I'll give you guys a link to that video in the description. Check it out if you have an Android Wear device or if you're thinking about it. There's a lot more functionalities definitely right now on the market. The next video we're going to talk about is the third one on our list and it's essentially a launcher a launcher that gives you the ability to customize the view within your device now launcher has been covered here on xda quite some time it's not a big thing but this one gave you the ability to get a way of actually getting some lollipop functionalities or aesthetics to your system uh, just by using this launcher and customizing it so if you've ever wanted to taste a lollipop nova launcher is one of the most powerful launchers on the market it's definitely very nice and definitely you guys should check it out i like it and i use it on all my devices devices i generally give the stock launcher a chance initially but then i realize i really need functionality such as swipe down function just double tap to turn on my google search a lot of things that you don't have within a normal launcher again check it out let me know what you guys think i'll give you guys a link in the description below. the fourth video that we had here on xda that had the most amount of views on for this year is inbox it's actually an application that was released by google a little bit in the later part of the year and it was supposed to be an alternative to the gmail application that you have on your device and I say an alternative because the way it interacts with your information, it's more of an intuitive and it puts things that are important to you right dead center in front of you. It gives you the ability of doing where you're able to basically put things in for a later time, functionalities that don't exist within the actual Gmail application. Now, it only works with Gmail accounts. It works very well. I still have it and I use it on my devices. And they've been updating it pretty well. It makes it work better on actual tablet UIs. So check it out let me know if you guys like it the last application which I, in our top five is actually an application that gave you the ability to get notifications on your lock screen and interact with them in a certain functionality i like the application the way it implemented itself as far as giving you access it gave you the ability to look in at an, an actual notification or swiping where directly from your home screen and if you just disable it or basically you know dismiss the notification the screen goes back to sleep and it's very nice we covered a few other applications that do similar things but this one actually made a hit so you guys definitely liked it i'm glad you did and check the description in the comments below if you haven't seen this application to check it out very very nice so the last thing i want to talk to you guys about today is how to control your information on your device now a lot of applications go on the market and seemingly just do very basic things but then they're asking for a lot of private things which is your information your identity your cell data your provider your sim provider all of these information that have nothing to do with what the functionality of this application needs to do and i say that with the example i'll show you guys a quick hands-on right now and we'll get back so X privacy is actually one of the best modules that we've ever had to actually cover here on XTA. We covered it a while back. And one of the reasons why I wanted to mention it to you guys here is at the end of 2014, with all the applications that we've reviewed and all the different things that we've done, we've always worried about our information and what we share with these applications. 
And as time goes on, the list of requirements of actual permissions when you're installing an application, not that at least Google allows you to see them right out the bat, is getting bigger and bigger. And I say that mostly because if we go into, let's say, this application, this is an animated photo. It's a mode within my camera. So we'll open it up here, and I'm going to show you guys where it resides. Within the Samsung camera on, you know, the Galaxy devices. If you have this mode or any other mode, you'll notice it's here. It's just a mode that allows me to take a picture and freezing certain parts of the camera or the frame itself. We go back to X privacy. Some of the information it's asking, obviously it's asking for accounts. It's a Samsung application. It's probably working there. Why does it need my calling information? And why does it need access to my clipboard? Well, I can maybe think of the clipboard, but calling, not necessarily. So with X privacy, you're able to restrict that information. But not only that, you're also able to actually go in and see exactly what's asking for, restrict all of it or part of it. Be aware when you restrict certain information, some functions within an application may not function correctly. So if you go back and it's not working, try to work it and see if you can fine tune it. If you don't have the ability to turn off the functionality by disabling it, you can actually go in to the settings within X privacy and lo and behold, you have the ability of spoofing the information. So if it's not going to let you have your cake, you can have your cake and eat it too and actually give you the ability of you know, modifying and make sure that everything you have is working correctly. A very powerful tool, requires root and exposed, but definitely a must have. X privacy is a best module you can definitely use. If you don't have Expose installed, you are rooted, you owe it to yourself to try out X privacy. If you don't try any other module, try that out. Unfortunately, with the situation of Expose, we still don't have access to Expose on Lollipop, so you're restricted to the ability to be able to run this on 444. At the late, that's the latest version of the Android operating system that you're able to access. So if you're using anything other than Lollipop, earlier than Lollipop, please check it out. Let me know what you guys think. I'll give you guys a link to the video that we did here on XTA quite a while ago, but definitely very relevant in the sense of what you can do. And as you know, as you guys saw with the hands-on, it's very powerful and it can do so much to control and help you control what you're providing out. On my final thoughts, I want to say Merry Christmas to everybody that celebrates Christmas. This is, you know, obviously the 25th of December. Uh, just hopefully you guys are having a good time. You got all the gifts and all the toys and everything that you want. Nobody's bad and everybody's good. Uh, but I want to make sure that you guys have a great rest of the year. Thank you again for all your comments and all your recommendations in your comments here in the videos and for all your support throughout the year. Uh, and it's been really, really a nice journey. Uh, happy holidays to everybody. As usual, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys soon.